Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the electric Israeli, and I come to you from sunny Florida. It's not so sunny now, but it's hot. And I'm in Lauderdale by the sea on my annual uh, Christmas, New Year, Hanukkah, vacation, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and today, I, you know, I just come here every year, I drive my Tesla all the way from Jersey. It's like a thousand to 150 miles or so. And back and driving, I said about the 3000 mile trip altogether. And um, one of the things, this I've been doing it many, many years and with the Tesla two years in a row, we took it to Canada. So the reason I'm doing this video for you is really is to show you what is real world uh, range is just like in gasoline cars, there's no different. The real world uh, range of a Tesla Model 3, the long range one, the 325 miles, that's the rear wheel drive. The the uh, dual motor 310 has 322. Okay, let me, the, the real world range for that is in my opinion, no more than 250 miles. Now, let me tell you how I get to that number. It's very simple. Um, first of all no matter what tesla you have the model 3 long range or the dual motor whatever it is if you charge it all the way and you'll never get or maybe one time if you're lucky you'll never quote unquote get a, a, a um, rated range of 325 or 322. the most i got once was 316. this time i got 310 um rated range now when you talk about real world range it, it has to do with many factor factors and number one is uh, weather, and then speed, and then weight, and then if you put something on your roof, and it's drag, and if you tow something, if you have a lot of passenger, it all depends. But take a typical American family, a family of four, like my family, that you take on a trip with some luggage in the back and all that, you put, you know, normal stuff, and you drive what I call the highway speeds plus five. Highway speed plus five is whatever the speed plus five miles per hour more. That's what, how I do. So if it's 70, I drive 75. Eh, sometimes I cheat to 80, but 65, 70, that's, that's how I do it. And you put the instruments. In other words, the, um, the heat or the air conditioning, depending what it is. And I made many experiments and the real world range if you squeeze it all the way to the end is 250 miles that's it that's what you're gonna get now do you want to get 300 miles okay so you drive with no with no uh, heat or air conditioning and you go 50 miles on the on the grandmother uh, <laughs> lane on the right and get hung by everybody else and you can do that but when I say real world is real world without compromises drive like a regular car okay now the good news when it comes to uh, long distance driving now when you drive in the city daily daily driving that doesn't matter i don't even care what the mileage is doesn't matter but when you drive on a vacation you go on a highway and whatever the good news is that there are so many superchargers that you can make from one to the other without any problems if you charge it correctly and you give yourself a good cushion a good um, buffer you will make it my rule of thumb is a hundred miles plus whatever it is if my if let's say my next leg is a hundred and twenty five miles i charge to 225. my biggest biggest uh, uh, range uh, was from santi supercharger in south carolina to kingsland in uh, southern uh, georgia that is 208 miles i believe and i basically fully charge the car to 310 and i go 75 80 miles an hour no problem with the heat does four people in the car drive and you and you will get there with 30 40 or even 50 miles to spare so technically if you will go more you can get to that 250 but there's no need because you have so many supercharging so truthfully the um a real range the real world range on highway speeds in real conditions without any compromises of the tesla model 3 long range either either version is 250 miles that's it now that's not bad that's wonderful so uh so that's you know i i, I can wait for the cyber truck to see what the real world range is but that's basically that's what makes a big battery very very useful so then you can allow yourself to act, you know, just to drive and, and, and not worry about it. But again, remember, plus 100, 
that's how I give myself the, uh, the uh, uh, you know, the flexibility to drive fast, to, to do whatever I need to do and not to really endanger myself or get to my destination so, so slow and so late. So that's that. Now, I wanna also, I, I never bash anybody channel or every anybody's experience a lot of people i will not mention name oh it's uh, i got 350 miles that's bs okay i saw a lot of these experiments you know i saw you know people drive 50 miles or an hour or or whatever or 80 kilometers an hour or whatever it is and say oh i got the uh, 200 uh, uh, you know watt hour per mile and i got uh, 300 or 400 miles that's crap okay that's just not true so that's that's what i'm trying to tell you the one hour per mile is really 280, 300 on regular driving with no compromises whatsoever. Give me your thoughts, your question. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Consider being a patron of this awesome channel and I'll see you tomorrow.